everyone, Kristen Heath from Premier Fitness here. Today we'll be doing a chest workout. So we'll do some warm ups. It'll be a partially timed workout. We're going to start with push ups, then do the timed workout. Four different exercises after the push ups, that is. And then we'll do a cool down and we're all done. Before we get started, remember to like our page on Facebook at the uh, Ashtabula County Medical Center. You can watch our live there. Next week on the 26th, we have a lunch and learn, a tour of the facility and everything. You can meet the staff. And June 16th, we have a walk with the doc. So if you were the last one and would like to go to another, we'll be having that. So let's get right into the stretches so we can start our workout. All right, so you can start just rolling your shoulders a little bit just to start some movement. And then we're gonna go into some arm circles after that. You can do wide circles, Start with smaller circles if you'd like, or go straight into the wide circles, but try to go as wide as you can with this. Doesn't matter what direction you're going. In fact, I like to switch directions, so whatever one you were going, do the opposite now. Next, we'll be doing a cross-body arm stretch, but we're going to want to keep it dynamic, so try not to hold it for too long. So just like that, you're going to bring your one arm across your body, and you're going to pull it gently with your other arm, and then you're going to release and repeat on the other side. All right. Do that just a couple more times. Make sure you're pulling gently, not forcing it back. So this is where my right arm naturally stops, and I pull it back just a little bit further with my left arm. And release. Now we're going to do a chest opening stretch. So you're going to put your hands in the back of your head. Don't put any pressure on it. Just rest them there. And you're going to bring your elbows back. Stretch that chest. This is where my elbows naturally stop. And then push back. Really feel that stretch. You'll feel it in your back as well. And release. And just do that a couple times. So elbows back. Hold. And release. Elbows back. Hold and release. One more time. Elbows back. Hold it and release. Now let's do a dynamic overhead tricep stretch. So you're going to bring your one arm up over your head, bend it, grab it at the elbow, and just gently pull it back to stretch it and release. And just keep repeating that on each arm. So left arm, bring it up, pull it gently with the right and release. Do it one more time on each arm. All right, now let's get into the push-ups first and then we'll rest a minute and we'll go into the time workout. So for the push-ups, if you can't do regular push-ups, don't worry about it. I'm going to show some variations first. So you could do them on the wall, just like regular push-ups, regular hand placement, but you'd be up against the wall. Just like that, have your feet further out. And you'll probably have to play around with it a bit, adjust it, see what's comfortable for you. Or you could do kneeling push-ups. So that's what I'll show first. We're gonna do 10 reps, three times. So let's start with the first 10. So if you're doing kneeling push-ups, rest on your knees instead of up on your feet like this. Try to keep your back straight still and don't strain your neck. You're gonna come down, Break 90 degrees with your arms and push back up. All right? So this is how your arms are spaced out. Come down, break 90 degrees, and push back up. All right, let's do those 10 and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're gonna rest briefly, and then we're gonna do 10 more, rest again, and then do 10 more, and we'll get into our timed workout after that. Now make sure you're, when you're coming up from your push-ups, don't completely lock your arms out on a slight bend in them still. You always wanna avoid locking out your arms or your legs, whatever workout you're doing. Rest just a little bit more, we'll do 10 more push-ups. All right, get ready to start those 10. You should feel that in your chest. It'll work your shoulders a little bit. 
You'll feel it in your triceps a little bit as well, especially if you're doing push-ups with your arms in at your sides. That's why when I do them for this workout, I have them out like this. So it's working the chest more so than it's working the triceps. So that's when we have them out like that. Now, okay, ready to start those 10 and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now rest one more time and then we'll get the last round of push ups knocked out and start the rest of our workout. You can just sit here and relax. You can do some dynamic stretching if you need to. You don't have to worry about keeping your heart rate up. You can just sit down during these rests if that's what you need. Take a deep breath and get ready to start those push-ups one last time. All right, get ready and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, rest for a minute. Now, before we get into our timed workout, you'll need a little bit of equipment, so just some form of a weight. You could use a gallon of water. You could fill it all the way for about eight pounds, halfway for about four pounds, but be aware that if you don't fill it all the way, the water will be moving around, so you'll have to be more careful with that. You could use just a regular water bottle if you want to avoid that swooshing of the water. This, of course, will be lighter, but it's much better to have easier control over the movements you're doing. Of course, if you have dumbbells, Definitely recommend those. Nice and easy to use. You could use any other bottles you have around your house. Like if you have a thermos, you can fill that with water, make sure it's sealed tight and use that. Whatever you've got, I would recommend something with a handle because we'll be doing chest flies like that. Of course, dumbbells or a water bottle are easy to hold on to, so that's fine. So whatever you've got to use as a weight, I'll start by showing how to use it with the water bottle because I'll be drinking out of that water bottle after the first round. So I want to use it before I drink out of it to show you how to do that. So it'll be a time workout. We'll be doing floor press, spend press, and chest flies for the first three exercises all together. I'll have my phone going to time it so you'll hear a beep in the last three seconds of every exercise, every rest. So we'll start with floor press, right side and left side. We'll do spend press and then we'll do chest flies, right side and left side. We'll rest in between, we'll do those three, five times. So let's get started with that. So grab your weight and get ready to start. All right, I'll start with this. So you would just hold it, lay down flat on the floor, have your back flat on the floor, and you're going to push up like this, don't lock your arm out, tap your arm down the floor and push back up. This will be working your chest muscles, it'll be working your deltoid muscles, so your shoulders. You can feel this in your triceps a little bit as well. Keep going on that right side, get ready to switch to the left. All right, and switch to the left, same thing. Start at the bottom. All right, and go. Push up, don't lock out. Try to keep your back flat on the floor. So just tap off the floor, push back up. Try not to rest on the floor too much. And only move with this side of your body. Try to keep the rest nice and stable. You may need to engage your abs a little bit for that. Especially if you're on a bench, this is a great way to get an ab workout at the same time. All right. Get ready for that side and press. Ideally, you'd like a heavier weight for this one, but if you're unable to find it, you can use this. 
Let's put the water bottle in between your hands, fingers facing away from you. You'll bring it into your chest and push back out. Now, because this is a smaller weight, you probably won't be able to tap it onto your chest. You could turn it this way if you'd like to be able to do that easier and push back out. Remember not to lock your arms out. Keep the rest of your body nice and stable. All right, now we're gonna get ready to switch to the chest flies. Starting with our right arm. Have the water bottle in your hand, palm facing up. Now when you come up, it'll turn your palm to the side a little bit as well. So you start like this and you come up like that. Right about to shoulder level. And you're gonna to wanna to keep your arm closer to your body as well. You're not out like this, it's like that. This is also working the same muscles listed before. So it's working your chest. This works your shoulders as well. And it'll hit your triceps a little bit as well. Get ready to switch to the left side and go. Try to hold it briefly at the top of the movement. Make sure you're controlling that movement as well. Don't flail out too much. You want to keep it close to your body. Let it down slow. Focus on those muscles as you're going through this movement. Especially if you're using a lighter weight, really focusing on those muscles and making sure you're tensing them will help a lot. All right? So we've got a 30 second rest. We'll repeat those exercises a couple more times. Three more times, I believe. So drink your water if you need to. I can drink out of this now that I'm done showing you guys how to use that. I'll be using my gallon of water for the rest of this workout. All right, five more seconds, get ready for that floor press. So again, start with the right hand side, lay flat on the floor. Whatever you're using, make sure that cap is on. Same thing as before, push up. Don't lock your arm out and try to only tap the upper part of your arm off the floor. Just gently touch the floor and push back up. You don't want to be resting on the floor. Get ready to switch to the left hand side. And go, same thing as before. Engage your abs. Try and balance yourself better if you need to. Try to keep that back flat on the floor. You'll be feeling this mostly in your chest and your shoulder, specifically the anterior deltoid, so the front muscle for your shoulder, right here. Keep going. All right, now get ready to do spin press. I find it easier with a gallon of water. It's the same thing. Put the weight between your hands, fingers facing out. Push on that weight. And just like that, just as before, bring it to your chest. Push out. Don't lock your arms out. Bring it back in. Breathe out when you push the weight away from you. Keep going. You're almost done with this. All right, get ready to switch the chest flies. Start with the right hand side again. So same thing as before, bring it up about shoulder level, let it down nice and slow. You wanna try and hold it briefly, the top of the movement. This is also a really good exercise, like I said, to work your chest muscles and that front shoulder muscle. Keep going. Almost done with the right side, then we'll switch to the left and we got another rest. And switch, get ready to start with the left side. And go. Bring it up, put it down slow, try to hold it briefly. And you want to keep the same bend in your arm throughout the movement, so don't curl it up. Keep that same angle of your elbow. That way you're moving with the chest and shoulder muscles. Don't make it into a curl. Keep going, we're almost done. 
All right. Rest for about 30 seconds. And then we've got that for two more rounds. All right, drink your water if you need to. About 10 seconds, so get ready to start that floor press. Get situated. All right, grab your weight, right hand side, back flat on the floor and go. Notice I keep my legs bent, that helps with stabilizing yourself during this workout. Doesn't quite matter where your arm is, the one that you're not working. I like to rest it like this. You could rest it down at your side if you'd like. Get ready to switch to your left side now. All right, switch to the left side. Make sure you're moving carefully while you're switching the weight and go. You'll also notice you want to keep this part of your arm straight up so you're not angling it in any way. Just keep it straight up. You're moving right here. All right, sit up. Get ready to start that sand press. You can also do this kneeling if you'd like, so I'll show you that now. It's just the same as you were doing before, but kneeling. If you're doing it this way, you want to make sure you're still nice and stable. You want the rest of your body to be stationary. You're just moving with your arms here. Make sure you squeeze when you push the weight away from you. So breathe out and squeeze those muscles. Keep going. All right. Now we've got chest flies again, starting with the right hand side. You can do these kneeling as well if you want. Be careful with your surroundings. Make sure you're not gonna hit anything. And again, the most important thing is you wanna make sure you're still stable and don't be arcing your back too much. Keep it nice and straight. Just a natural arc of your back. Breathe out when you bring the weight up. Keep going, you're almost done with this side. All right, get ready to switch. Left hand side and go. And again, with this exercise, it doesn't matter where the hand is not being used is resting. I find it comfortable to rest like this. You could rest it down at your side if you'd like. It's up to you, whatever makes you comfortable while you're still doing exercise properly. So we've got 10 more seconds, keep going. We've got another rest after this. All right, one more rest for these three exercises. After these three exercises, we have another exercise that I'll show you before we get into it. So just focus on finishing up these three for now. We got 12 seconds, so get ready to start that floor press. Get situated in your right hand. Get ready and Go. Remember to keep that back flat on the floor. Don't lock your arm out and let it down nice and slow. Keep going. Ready to switch to that left hand side. Switch. And start. Again, keep your back flat on the floor. Don't lock your arm out. Almost done. This is the last time we'll be doing this exercise, so try to push yourself. Almost done here. If you feel like you can't get perfect form, drop your weight. 
just go to a lighter weight, that means. So you can grab a water bottle or if you need dumbbells, grab a lighter dumbbell. Start that spend press now. So push out, bring it back in. Breathe out when you push away from you and make sure you squeeze those muscles together. Like I said, if you feel like your form isn't perfect in these last few sets, use a lighter weight. So you can keep doing the exercise, it's better than just stopping, but you won't risk injuring yourself. So I'll show you dumbbells, do chest flies, start with your right hand side. And same thing. Dumbbells are definitely easy to use for these workouts, but not everyone has them at home, so I like to try show you guys different things to use that'll still get you an effective workout. The big thing is to focus on those muscles you're working. Make sure you're using proper form. All right, and get ready to switch to the left side. And go. going. We'll have a rest after this and it'll be a bit of a longer rest so I can show you the new exercise. Ten more seconds. All right. So let's pause this for a minute. So the next exercise is like Two exercises put into one, so I'll show you that real quick. You can keep resting. So it's going to be an overhead press. Again, that'll be working your chest, it'll be working your shoulders, especially that anterior, your front shoulder. It'll work your traps a little bit as well, and I'll show you why in a minute. And it'll hit your triceps a little bit too. So you're gonna hold your weight. I find it easy for from using the gallon, hold it at the bottom. If you're using a kettlebell, same thing, hold it at the bottom. You're going to start with it right at your chest and you're going to push up don't lock your arms out bring it back down and you're going to have to bring your head back just slightly so don't strain it back just enough so the weight isn't going to hit your face now if you're using dumbbells you can grab it at the sides so you see how i'm holding it palms in kind of resting my palms but holding it in place with my fingers same thing just like that. Make sure you're standing naturally with your back, not straining it back or anything. And then immediately after that, we'll have no rest. We'll go straight into overhead tricep extensions. So just like that. I'll show you the gallon in a minute, if that's what you're using. So let down slow, push back up. Keep this part of your arm in place, stationary. So only move with this right here, and this will work your triceps. So you'll be feeling it right in here. Right here, just like this. Let me show you that with the down real quick, and then we'll get started. I find it's also easy to hold at the bottom, but my fingers are facing towards me. So just like that. All right. So we're going to do the overhead press for 15 seconds. We'll go straight into the overhead tricep extensions for another 15 seconds. And then we'll rest briefly and we'll do that three times total. So let's get started. Grab your weight. I'll start with this for anyone that's using the gallon to show you how to use it. Five seconds. So get ready to start with that overhead press. Palms facing each other and go. Put your head back slightly. Push up it down. Let it down slow. Don't lock your arms out at the top of the movement. Get ready to switch straight into those extensions and go. Just like that. Remember to only move with your lower arm, which looks like your upper arm during that. So let's rest for 30 seconds. Repeat that two more times, and then we'll get a cool down and we're all done. 
Drink some water if you need to. You got about 15 more seconds of rest. I'll show you this with the dumbbell now. Take a deep breath if you need to. All right, five seconds, get ready to start. Overhead press. All right, go. Again, palms facing each other. Don't walk your arms out. Bring it down so it's just above your chest. Head back, don't strain your neck. And start those extensions right away. So as you can see, I'm holding the weight the same way, but I'm making sure that I'm gripping it with my fingers so the weight won't slip. Again, don't walk your arms out. All right, this is our last rest. Repeat that one more time and we're done. Got about 20 seconds left. Shake your arms out if you need to. You can do any dynamic stretches or you can just stand there, sit there and relax. 10 seconds, get ready. I'll be using this for my last round. You can use whatever weight you have available. And go, overhead press. Breathe out when you push up. Focus on those muscles you're working. Your chest, your shoulders, going right into those triceps. Focus on your triceps now. Keep going, this is it, and then you're done. All right, all done now. So let's get into our cool down real quick. And then that'll be it. So let's start with some arm circles just to loosen up. I'm gonna start backwards. You can do your arms individually too if you'd like. So you just go like this. When I do them like that, I like to do four rotations backward, four rotations forwards, and then switch to my other arm. So let's do that on the left side now, or whatever side you weren't working before. If you're doing both arms at the same time, you can continue doing that, just switch directions up. All right, now let's get ready to do the crossbody arm stretch again. This time we can hold it for longer. So we're gonna hold it for one deep breath each time. All right, so bring your right arm straight across, Pull back gently with that left. Take a deep breath. Release. All right, left arm, bring it across, pull it gently. Take a deep breath and then release. One more time on each arm. Left arm. Now we're gonna do that same deep breathing again with the overhead tricep extension. So right arm, bring it up, grab that with your left arm, pull it, deep breath, and release. Again, left arm, you know, so to bring your head slightly forward, kind of strain your neck, deep breath now. All right, one more time on each arm. Right arm, pull gently, Deep breath, and release. Left arm, pull gently, deep breath. All right, now let's do that chest opening stretch again. So rest your hands in the back of your head. I don't want you to pull on your head. You don't want to strain your neck, just relax in there. In fact, you can even just cover them behind your head if you like. You don't have to have contact. And you're just gonna bring your elbows back Hold it briefly, take a deep breath. And relax. And again, elbows back, deep breath. All right, let's do that two more times, but hold it for longer. So let's do two deep breaths. Elbows back, deep breath. One more. Relax your arms, bring them down to your sides. Let's do that once more. Hands to the back of your head, elbows back. Take a deep breath. Keep your elbows back. One more deep breath and you're done. All right, relax. Shake your arms out if you need to. So that's the end of our workout. 
Remember to like us on Facebook, Ashtabula County Medical Center. We have the Lunch and Learn events on there you can check out. Walk with the Dog is coming up next month. So I hope you guys liked it and see you again soon.